Genesis 1.28a Alpha Vayavarech Otam Elohim Vayomer Lahem Elohim Note that we call this Genesis 1.28a Alpha. You learned in a previous video that Genesis 1.28a would bring us up to the middle of the verse, indicated by the disjunctive accent Atnach. When there's a Greek letter like Alpha added, what that's indicating is that we're at the middle of the first half of the verse, indicated by a disjunctive accent. And in this case, that disjunctive accent is Ravia, which is sitting above the hay in Elohim. The verse starts with Vayivarech, PLWCI 3MS from Beit Resh Kof. Notice that the expected strong dogesh in the Yod is missing. And this is to be expected because the consonant is followed by a vocal schwa. Notice also that the expected patach under the bait is a comet, and that's because you cannot put a dagesh in the resh, and so we compensate by making the short patach a medium comet. Notice also that the expected tsere under the resh is a segol because the accent has retreated back. It's not vayuvarech, but vayuvarech. Now, to bless means to empower. When God blesses people in Genesis, for example, he empowers them to produce children or he empowers them to produce wealth. The second verb is vayomer, called WCI 3MS from Aleph Mem Resh. Now, this isn't a second action. It's not that first God blessed and then he said. This WCI is what we call epexegetical. And what that means is it's explanatory. The second verb is explaining the first. And so we could translate this, God blessed them by saying. 